nice brake kit for the D100, which basically fits the post war all the way through 1971. This is the 1971, this beautiful truck. It belongs to Rodney, a friend of mine, North Fort Worth. He was one of the first people that ever used our kit. If we step down here, we can see this is original 73 to 76 sliding caliper design used by Chrysler, which with our plate adapts directly to the original kingpin spindle. Quite easy setup, and it's, you're using all factory Chrysler components. Factory caliper, factory pad, factory hose, factory rotor, factory dust shields, factory bearings, all 73 to 76 components. So all of the wearables are replaceable at your... Uh, local auto parts store so that takes care of the bottom end of course it is this is with the plain rotors we also have drilled and slotted rotors that's an option then we move on to the power unit the engine that drives that whole assembly we've got a tandem diaphragm booster eight inch tandem diaphragm booster with a one inch disc brake master cylinder and it's on a set of brackets which pushes it off the firewall so even on the standard vehicles that have a clutch slave cylinder like the other model that we show at 1960 it clears all that standard and clutch apparatus also so this is what drives the whole system. It's easy to put on, take about an afternoon. Hardest part is drilling the four uh, holes in the spindles, which we can do for you if you send them in. A local machine shop can do it for about $100, or we've done several trucks and clients have done. You can do it right in the driveway. You're only drilling and tapping four holes. So, uh, hope this is beneficial to you provides outstanding stopping power you know these trucks they don't stop very well matter of fact they're basically non-drivable beasts especially with a big block or something in it if you catch our one short video the d100 videos on the website i believe it's like one minute and 51 seconds long it shows me running that 1960 step side down that country road at about 50 miles an hour and it shows me bending over with two fingers on the brake pedal and bringing it to a total screeching halt in about 50 or 60 feet. Matter of fact, it surprised us. We didn't even know we were stopped already. But uh, I urge you to check it out. Information on the web. You can get us at ramman.com as always, or you can call us at 817-429-0105. Uh, God bless you. God bless America. And happy Mopar. This is Rodney. I've got the 71 Dodge truck with the Ram Man front disc brake conversion setup on it. A lot of modifications went into it. It's one of the first ones, but uh, works real well. Needed uh, disc brakes because the drums don't work. Coming down some mountain passes and stuff, we almost went over the guys in front of us on the power tour. So I started calling Wayne to try to find a disc brake setup. Got it all broke in, modified, and installed on the truck. And now we run down the highway with power disc, and you can make it stop. And so it looks cool, and you still don't run over the car in front of you. So, recommend him if you have anything in question for, just give him a holler.